Hello everyone, Cobjus here now, and in today's Gwent video we have uh, a Bleach Drop Sinters deck. And this isn't actually my deck I created, I got this from the Gwent database. And I've played it uh, quite, a, quite a few times now and it is pretty good to be fair, it, it is really good. Uh, so if you play it right, you you can win most of your games. Uh, so yeah, this was from the Gwent database and this was from someone called Dunkara. I'll link it in the description as well if you want to check it out in full detail. But I'll quickly go through it now. So we have this is a this is, this deck is mostly about thinness, so you can get out your Reaver Hunters, because that is the main thing about this game. Okay, so we have Radovid first of all, because I think that's that's much better than full test in this situation. I think you can gain a lot more points uh, from locking other units like uh, plays and. Uh, so yeah, ruin some of their strategies and doing a bit of damage. I think altogether you'll gain more points from Fold Test, and also this is the only um, card that interacts with the enemy board, so you want to try and save Radovid really. Uh, we have the Blue uh, Stripe Scout. You want to play them when you play after you play the Temerian Infantry. So I'll go back to them in a sec. Uh, the Commandos you want to keep in your deck. You don't want any of them in your hand, so keep them all in your deck um, because they come out when you play the Infantrymen. Um, so I'll talk about this now, so you only want one in your hand, not all three, just want one. Um, because they they all come out when you play one, so you only want one in your hand, the other two in your deck, and so these will come out as well. One will come out, maybe two, I think it's one. And then you want to play the Blue Stripe Scouts after that, because uh, they'll boost all of these. Uh, so then we have the Reaver Hunters, which you kind of want to save. Um, or you play it in the first round to win, and then you play it in the last round. Um, and you bring them back by Neneke, she's very important in this deck. And we have the Field Medics, because um, if you play them, you can, uh, you can either bring back the Reaver Scouts. Um, yeah, usually you play them with the Reaver Scouts, so you play it, bring back Reaver Scouts, and it spawns something else. Or you could do it with the Reaver Hunters if you want them back in your deck. Uh, operator, that will give you an extra Reaver Hunter. Because the more Reaver Hunters you have, the more uh, boost they'll have and the more strength you'll have on the board. So that will get your fourth one out. You have Neke, she's very important. That will put these back in your deck. And we have Shani, that will. S Let's say you've played them and you want to. Actually, no. We play her to get out another Reaver Scout because these are always thin in your deck. So you want to play her to get out a Reaver Scout. Maybe one of these if you need one. Uh, John Talis, he's very good for thinning your deck, so he'll uh, get out one of these supports, which I'll talk about in a second. And Reaver Scouts, I just said, you know, they're very important to thin your deck. So you play it and it spawns another unit, uh, the base copy of it from your deck. Um, so we have the double cross now that will boost the highest silver, bronze silver unit, uh, bronze silver, and that will be Neneke. So you guarantee, pretty much guaranteed to have it. Reinforcement play, so that will get out. That could get out Neneke. That could get out uh, any of these soldiers. So that's pretty good to have. Uh, marching orders boost the lowest, so that will 100% get out Reaver Scouts. As I said, they're they're very good for thinning your deck. So that's what that's for, and that could be to get your fifth Reaver Hunter. Let's say a the opponent plays a spell card, uh, you can after you've played one of these, you'll get out your fifth Reaver Hunter which will do so much which will give you so much strength for the last round. And we have Royal Decree and that will hopefully you should use that on Jonatalis because that will just thin your deck even more but yeah. It just gets out a gold card and yeah you definitely want you kinda want to use it on Jonatalis really. And each do you want to save into the last round, play top two cards in your deck, and that will hopefully get out a Reaver Hunter. So you want to try and save him um, <clears throat> for the last round. Uh, so yeah, that's about it, and we'll go straight into a game. I don't want to speak about it too much, because I want to go straight into the gameplay. That is where I'll show you properly how to play this deck. Go, go straight into a rank game. Here we go. As I said, the only... The big difficulty I play against is if you play against monsters and they're holding a scorch, that's a problem. Or swims uh, discard deck because that's just so totally OP. So you, everyone's going to struggle with that no matter what deck you are. Um, 
my men know the meaning of Still against Nilfgaard, it's not a bad matchup, it's pretty good actually. Kill the less. Okay, so we don't want a commander. Get rid of the commander, Royal Decree, that's pretty good, so we're gonna get rid of John Natalis. <coughs> and I think we'll keep that. We we'll keep that. Yeah, we've got the soldier. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep we'll keep that. I'm happy with that. Okay. So th we should thin our deck a lot this round. And we'll win the coin flip, so that's pretty good. So first of all you want to use the infantry man. <coughs> If it's peace you desire, prepare for war. We could lock that, but we're not going to yet. You want to save it for something big. I mean, to be fair, he's kind of ruined our plans with the Reaver Scout. Um, but we're going to play anyway. Regroup! I'm gonna play it anyway because there's nothing we can do. Okay, then we'll play a Reaper Scout. Not. And we'll get our blue stripes. Scout. That humans. That'll boost all that. I knew you would ask for this. to the front yet again. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Let's I do it in so, the Reef Scout. Bloody non-humans. Kinda wanna win this round to be honest. But you don't wanna use Radovid too early. Could use your Royal Decree next. Slow us. Ah, okay, okay. Here we go. So we use John Talis. Tamaria has yet to We've got to get this. Last. to get this. Field medic? Field medic, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want of me? And we'll put Reaver Scout back in. I told you Reaver so, Scout you idiot. back out. Let's do another field medic. What do you want of me? Put Reaver Scout back in. We'll get Reaver and her out. We'll chain Not problem. bad. Not bad at all. And there we go, we're in the first round. We need us to win that. So we're just going to drive past this. Oh, we've got a operator as well, which is actually really good. So we've still got Radovich, so if he has any units that's worth locking, we'll lock it. I live to serve. Okay, so we can use Shani to get out the uh, Reaver Hunter. So, uh, I'm happy with that. We'll use Operator first to give him a Reaver Scout. This world dies with it. Right, here we go. Give him an extra Reaver Hunter. Let 
Let's go. And we're actually going to use some summoning circle. Let's go. Give us an extra reaper into there. Hmm. A highly curious case. Oh, he's actually going to get rid of one. Ain't oh. What do you want of me? Oh. I'm surprised about that. I'm a medic. I tend to know what I'm doing. Okay, and we're going to get out our of a reaver hunter. I'm surprised he didn't take the reaver hunter to be honest. So we've got four now, which is this is looking really good. It's looking pretty good. Hmm, a highly curious case. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. A grotto dum anime est, pe est. But we're broke as shit peddlers. Hmm, a highly curious case. I don't actually understand what he's actually doing here. Elves must die! Okay. Okay. So we're gonna play who's the lowest of room? Dead. To the lowest. Reaver. You one of us or not? And we'll get out of Reaver Hunter. Let's go! Oh, this is looking scary. This is looking scary. <laughs> damn, 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 damn. With five Reaver Hunters, this... If we get them, all five of them out, this will be crazy. Not God flopping. He knows I can lock anything, so I ain't going to do anything yet. I ain't going to do anything. So we're actually going to... Nasty wounds, those. But you'll okay, so we're actually going to put back the infantryman. So if we get one of them back, whoa. Because we've got Dijkstra, so we don't want to use all our cards. We have no cards to pull out with Dijkstra, you see. So it's always good to have an Neke. If you don't have that Dijkstra, that'd be the worst. You basically just go in on four strength, and that's a gold card wasted. We're, we're just waiting for a bit. We won't play these two yet, because I want to unlock this. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. Scout. Here we go. Die. Here we go. It came in there. Right, time for Dijkstra. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. You one of us or not? Oh. That was, yeah. Thinned my deck out too much. Just, this is what you don't want. You don't want that, really. Do we risk the Radovid? Do not test my patience. We can unlock that and we're going to lock that. Hope, hope 
probably ain't gonna play anything that's worth locking. You may have played it too early, but you wanna get the, the most out of your Reaver Hunters. Alright, come on. Damn it. Oh! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, so lucky we waited. And we got scorched. Yeah, 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 yeah. And here we go. This is no time to whimper. Yes, come on. Not bad. Not bad at all. There we go. <laughs> that is the strength of the Reaver Hunters. He actually had Scorch as well, and that is our weakness. And he had Garrett Igni. So, they were our weaknesses, but because we didn't play them straight away, he couldn't use his Garrett Igni, that was a total waste. And Scorch, that was quite big to be fair, but... Right, so we're at 3,807. Okay, so we've up it. Uh, I think we'll play one more. We'll play one more. But that was good. But that, that can... It just shows you how strong they are, and if we, if he didn't have Scorch to get rid of any of them, holy crap, Do you'd easily win by 20, 30 points. But Dagon, he's going to be quite tough, because I reckon he's going to have Scorch, and I think weather, would weather affect this, it may do. Right, I'm going to say we're going to get rid of one. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're going to get rid of one infantryman, operator, that's pretty good. Commando, definitely don't want that. Yeah, that's pretty good. We've lost a coin flip, unfortunately, but we're straight away we're gonna straight we're gonna use the operator. Gilma hunter. We'll play everything on one row. Come to Paris for Samaria. Because, I mean, if you play him in the other two rows, he's just going to weather them. So we want his other cards, we want them cards to be a waste. So now I'd say we want to use... Bloody non-humans. I think we'll use a Reaver Scout next to get out one of them. That will also just get rid of the Reaver Scout, so benefits us. This is no time to whimper. Oh, 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 oh. If we get out Royal Decree, we can get out John Natalis. All right, we're, we're gonna try this. Get out, John Tallis. Tamaria has yet to speak its last. There we're gonna. Oh. All right. You one of us or not? Th that's fine anyway. And it, that weren't the end of the world, to be fair. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, we've got a lot of strength now. What we did there weren't wrong. I was trying to hopefully get a uh, summoning circle so it, it would get out that for me, but... You one of us or not? Bloody non humans. Damn, 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 damn. <laughs> Our world is in harmony. We can't 
can actually get rid of them too. Hmm. Do we? Do we? Mm. So we don't want to use a Reaver Scout now. We could use our. We could use a field medic. Yeah, let's use a field medic. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. Let's put. What should we put back in? Let's put Reaver Scout back in. Oh, we get you a Reaver Scout back not. out. Let's use another field medic. What do you want of me? And let's put back in a Reaver Scout. And we get out our Reaver so, Scout. And that does nothing. Okay. I'm surprised we can't get a Reaver Scout to be honest. Tell me you jest. Let's put in the scalp and uh. It's not what we wanted really. Don't recognize your old mates. That's fine, we can put it back on our deck anyway. We could put all three, but we don't want to use them all really. Could actually use through this scar on him. We're actually going to use Radovid here. It is how we're going to lock these two. You one of us or not? Right, we're going to use the. This is no time to whimper. Maybe we should find the same one. Oh, I don't matter. Don't matter. Got another two river hunters here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We need to win this. Oh, come on, come on, it's good. Ah, uh, time to pass. I mean, the only good thing is, is at least he's got the Scorch out of the way. But this ain't looking good for us. He's got it out of the way, at least. Better than him losing it last, using it last round. That Dijkstra, that's good. And that's pretty, that's good as well. Finish with your red. He's got no carry over as well, so we're just going to use Naneke to get out the, uh, to put the hunters back in our deck. Right here Nasty we go. Wounds, those, but you'll live. Right. One. Two. Three. Pass. We've still got a chance, but it, he's got the advantage. But I mean, the good thing is, he has already used a Scorch, and we've got a Hunter there, which is really good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we'll keep that. We'll keep that. Play Dijkstra first, I think. Shiny, shiny. Sure. Be glad to. Ooh. Ooh, we 
should have played someone different. Damn it. May have made a mistake here. Ah. This is no time to whimper. That, that's pretty good. That's what we want. That's what we want. So I think next we'll use the Let's go. next. Here we go. Here comes the strength. Come on, come on, come on. It's taking ages, come on. See, the caretaker, so it's lucky we've got no one in there. What do you want of me? Put that back in. We'll get something out. Harpies. I'll take that. <laughs> oh, just one harpy. <laughs> this is looking good. Oh, one more Reaver Hunter. The, as I said, the only bad thing is he has got a big advantage. Because... He did win the first round. This is no time to win. There we go. That that is so much strength, and we'd without a doubt beat him if we win the first round. But unlucky, our weakness is uh, Scorch. He's, he's still got it. <laughs> oh, we've done it. We've done it. Oh my God! Even. Even with being two cards down, this shows you how crazy this deck is. It's brilliant. As I said, I don't take any credit for um, for making this deck. It was on the database, and it's from uh, Dungoro. I think that's how you pronounce it. And let's see where we are now. Eight, 3,834. If this is going to rank me up, I think this will. Um, and this doesn't even take long to get used to. If you've never played this type of deck before, you don't have to worry about getting into it because like, I've played you you need like half an hour play time maybe a little bit more and you'll get used to the deck easy because this is the first day I've played with this deck and before I started uh, recording this for YouTube I played it maybe an hour before and that's it so it doesn't take a lot of getting used to and soon once you get to know how to play it properly it's pretty insane I mean as I said the Scorch is your weakness, but if you can get his Scorch out for the first round, it's brilliant because the last round you don't have to worry about it. So it's not all bad. The only bad thing is if he bleeds you out completely second round, um, or if you're against the disc Swim's Discard deck, I've never beat that ever with any deck. Um, I mean, you can probably beat the deck if you're maybe a better player than me, but that deck is so hard to beat. Because just everything about it, it just counters everything. It's just it's it's just better than any other deck out there. So that so apart from that, this deck <laughs> this deck will rank you up hundred um, percent. Let me just show you the deck once more, and and I think that's it. There we go. So Blue stripes hunters. I'll also put the link down in the description for the Gwent database uh, website I got it from. Uh, and yeah, this is the deck. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.